coffee. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, these crows are just super happy that I'm out here. They're um, real mad at me right now. Something. I don't know what I did. But uh, before we start the video, we're, we're back here on the old, the old lovely daily driver. Don't worry about that. That's factory uh, speed hole. You know, aerodynamics. It wind flows in and it helps. It, it's all. It's it's fine. It's supposed to do that. Uh, but before we get into the video, I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all gave me seventy-five views on that last video. Of me just trying to vacuum seal some rice. That's uh, that's impressive. I appreciate that. Y'all are some crazy SOBs. Um, I'm not. I'm not the type of guy who's gonna sit here and beg for subscribers. I just don't do that. Just my personal opinion. You know, if you do it, that's your conviction. I don't, because of my conviction. You know, but I'm not gonna be that guy. And if you like it, like it. And if you don't. Don't, you know, I'm not going to ask you to like something or anything like that, but I sure do appreciate it, all of those views. I mean, 70 views is, you know, in the YouTube spheres is nothing, but for me, I couldn't be more pleased. Couldn't be more pleased. God, these things are just pissed this morning, you hear that? I don't know what's going on. Anyways, we're back on here with the Daily Driver. Still unnamed Daily Driver. And uh, we're going to be working on some tires today. Because, uh, as you can probably tell, that mm, that's a little bit flat. It's supposed to look something like this on the bottom. Something about that. Um, It doesn't. That's not good. I'm running about probably 10 pounds. At that point in time, you're risking the bead and the rim. So we're going to go do the right thing. And we're going to go to the gas station, fill her up with some air, find where the hole is. And then I got a tire patch kit and some slime and, or cement, sorry. Uh, slime is actually a brand. It's uh, rubber cement. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, welcome back. I, um... Went ahead and went to every gas station in this little strip. And, uh, just luckily enough, every single pump is broken. Um, so we're going to do the right thing. We pulled over into a, uh, parking lot, um, where there's lots of car noise. I don't even know if you'd be able to hear me. But anyways, we went ahead and jacked up the car, pulled the tire off. And I've showed you how to do that before, but with, um... We didn't support it with a jack stand this time. Um, we just went ahead and snagged on to the uh, jacking point underneath the car. Obviously, this is the other side. Cars are on that side, so I put the car in between you, me, and the, uh, the noise. Hopefully, it'll block it out a little bit better. But, uh, let's grab onto this jacking point right under here. Oh, can you see that? Hold on. Hold on. Here she goes. Right there. That's made out of some sort of aluminum foil. Uh, it should just hold the car up just fine. Um, definitely shouldn't drop it. Uh, so anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the patch here in somebody's parking lot. And then I'm going to continue to cruise around with the flashers on and uh, drive it on zero pounds. And hopefully I can um, find somewhere that has an air pump. It should just be fine. Anyways, um, all right. So, what you're gonna need in order to do this kind of repair uh, is one of these tire repair kits. Now, these are really nice. Um, comes with everything you need. A little thing of rubber cement, which never is any good, and it's only got three of the actual plugs. So I went ahead and grabbed a giant thing of rubber cement and 30 extra plugs. Let me get my fat hand out the way. 30 extra plugs. 
so that way hopefully um, I won't have to use it again. I'll have backups in case I need to use it again. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get you spun around and uh, I'll show you what we're working with here, and I'll be right back. So I had already messed up one time um, by doing this the wrong way. So I'm gonna prop you up here where it's definitely gonna fall, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this the right way. Let me just uh, see if I can set you right there. That'll be all right. So what you're gonna want to do. Uh, unlike what I just did, uh, is you're going to want to pull the kit out and get this all ready. Because um, as soon as you pull out the obstruction, you're going to lose a whole bunch of air. And I didn't do that. Because I'm just really smart. So, what you got here is this is a reamer. So you pull out the obstruction out of your tire. Take this and you just stab it to make a clean hole. And then that is what these go in. I'll show you how to do that right now. Um, they don't go in well, easy, ever. Thought somebody was rolling up on me for a second. Um, and it's just sticky rubber, so it's um, really high quality, actually. And it's really sticky, so it does the job really well. So take that and go ahead and put that right back in the box, just like so. And then take this. And then you force feed it through that tiny hole. Oh, can you see that? There it is. Force feed it through there. So you, I mean, it just, just never really wants to fit. So usually you take it and you just kind of stretch and smash it. And then kind of just, just try to get it as small as possible so you can get it through the hole. Um, maybe. Hopefully. Right? And then... Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't want to go. That's what I was saying. It's real, real high quality, real sticky stuff. It's real thick, so it doesn't. Oh, oh, there you go. You just gotta have a little patience, and you just kind of tug on it a little bit at a time. So then, what you want to do? Um, fold her in half, like so. Make sure that you got it um, even, and then so you're actually gonna fold it in half the other way. Cause this. Uh, so there's a tire. Hmm. It's actually going to go in and fold like that. Can you see that? Inside the tire. Now, I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second. So what we're going to do, get our rubber cement out. Um, and it's actually got the tip. I doubt you can see that. But tip, if it'll focus on my hand. It's a little, oh, whatever. All right, so that's foil packed. So it doesn't just, you know hardened immediately so you take the tip take it and you put it upside down and you stab it like so and now you got gunk all right so we're gonna bring the tire over here I already found the obstruction which is that screw right there so what we're gonna do is I don't know if I'm gonna be able to video this in any way, maybe like that. Oh, there's someone pulling in behind me. Oh, listen to that. She's not very happy with me. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm gonna find a way to prop you up. So, I, cause I'm gonna need all my hands. But I wanna show you exactly what I'm doing. So, I think I'm probably just gonna flip it around and do it one-handed. Pro quality time. Hold the tire with your knees. All right, grab your giant extendo screwdriver. These have always worked. Usually you want to have a pair of uh, needle nose, but we don't have that here. So quickly yank that out and then throw that into the grass so nobody else can uh, do that. Throw that on the ground. Grab your plunger like so and uh, like that and you want to come as straight up and down as you can like so and you just want to give her a solid one or two maybe three like so plunges and that's just clearing out the hole then you want to pick up the rubber cement that you just dropped all over the floor take that on that patch tube and you're gonna to want to quote both sides 
see if I can do this with the camera oh yeah quality and then also get some in the hole like so and then this is really the hard part which is why you want to do this quickly have as much air and take it like this and you're gonna just jam the whole thing straight down so I got that jammed all the way down in there if it'll focus please focus hello hmm all right, she don't want to focus. I apologize for that. All right, so I got that jammed all the way down in there. Now, uh, you just want to grab this firmly and just yank. Because you, you don't want to pull that rubber out. You just want to pull this out. So I'm going to go ahead and just like so. Now the rubber is still hanging on like so. What I like to do, just to be sure, is I want to coat it. And some more rubber cement and she still won't focus junk you go ahead and just give her some rubber cement all the way around so she'll seal and then put that on back down over here go ahead and put the cat back on it you guys you guys are real real troopers if you're sticking around for this kind of content Oh man, I am so skilled. There we go. Oh jeez. Hold on. Got to put you down. All right, so that's pretty much it. You want to have it uh patch like that and then you want to coat coat it with cement so that way it'll keep it nice and um nice and secure. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to give that a minute or two to cure, throw it back on the car. <laughs> Then, I guess, we're going to go ahead and try to drive her to the station. I don't know. This video is going to be fun to edit. It's just a whole bunch of junk. But, um, that's, that's about it. Now, the scientists say at the damn factory that makes this stuff, you're supposed to cut that off. But, um, if you just drive on it like that, it, uh, it all works out pretty much in the end, so... We're going to go put this back on the other side over there, and I'll get with you after that. All right, that was an epic fail. She's uh, sitting right at zero pounds. Um, so I had to put her back up in the air. That's the mounting point I was telling you about. Now, if a guy had a right jack, there'd be little cat, little nubs here, kind of like crenellations. I don't know if you've ever seen a castle, but it's got like four of them. So that way you could put two on this side and two on that side so it would hold it in this orientation so it can't just you know fall straight off the jack which should be fine um so yeah zero pounds in that tire at all just none uh which is good so i guess i'm gonna do the right thing thankfully um i don't have my jacket and it just started raining so i'm gonna walk 65 miles that way to the nearest walmart and see if i can't find me a you know 12 volt plug in tire blower upper thing and uh i'll get back with you when that's done i appreciate y'all sticking around but if i drive on that thing it might just kill me and uh i can't have that because then the missus would revive me and torture me to death for dying so that's not fun but uh i'm gonna get off and i'm gonna take a walk it's raining. It's nice. Um, appreciate you sticking around. Uh, there's going to be about a million edits in this thing. So that should be fun. Uh, just high quality. The highest of quality known to man. I appreciate you sticking around. Alright. I will be back once I get back from the Walmart. I head to the Walmart. Picked up the cheapest one they had. Hyper tough tire inflator. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack this open. Uh, it's got all sorts of fancy stuff like a light and, uh, oh, can't see my ugly mug. Now you can probably hear me better too. Uh, it's got like lights and, uh, digital stuff and that's pretty cool. So I guess what we're going to do, pull her on out. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Look at this. Comes, uh... All in a super cheap Chinesium box. Got some sort of power button. That's cool. Uh, plus, minus. 
whatever M stands for. I don't know. And everything's kind of in plugged into the back here. So I guess we'll go ahead and pull that junk out. Hold on. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot of cable here. Hold on. Look at all this. That's nice. Look at that. Plenty of room. Now, oh, and then the, okay, that's in the side there. All right, let me set you up here. You can definitely not see me at all. Oh, shoot. There she goes. All right. Probably still can't see me whatsoever. Eventually, I'm probably going to get um, some sort of fancy HD camera that has, like, mounting and stuff like that. But uh, that's just way out of my price range right now. So, you know, if you guys just stick around with this garbage, I'd just surely appreciate it. Eventually, maybe we'll get something fancy. All right, so that goes in there. Wow. Holy crap. Look at this. That's at least seven feet right there. Ah, so that should be fine. Pardon the mess. I, uh, work and live in this vehicle. So, if you, uh, I just apologize. I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for that. It smells real nice, you know, it's got that new plastic smell, so that's cool. Plug that on in, into that. And, oh yeah, I am just the greatest cameraman. All right, put that on accessory. And would you look at that? We just have blue lights, I don't know. Oh, hold on. You see that? Ooh. Brightness just got all funky on me, hold on. All right, zero PSI. We want to... Set that to... Thirty-five. Thirty-five, all right. It's got a light that uh well it's pretty dim anyways so uh I do that and then pull this guy out plug it right on into that man the rain is really picking up all right screw it right on into that and then theoretically you just press the button Seven PSI is not good to run a tire on. No, sir. Go ahead and uh, give that about 600 hours to uh, fill up this junk tire, and uh, I'll get back with you. We are back at the house. Um, pro tip: make sure that you definitely just finger tighten your lug nuts before you get on the highway, so that way it uh, almost rattles the wheel completely off the vehicle. So that way you don't even have to worry about making sure the patch works. That's high quality. That way you just throw the tire at somebody else and then it's their problem because it's lodged in their windshield right so and then we don't have to deal with it and then we just get a new tire that doesn't have holes in it but uh no don't be an idiot check for tightness i didn't it was raining i'm still wet i didn't think about it i was gonna do something else for y'all uh but it's just raining and my shed's about one and a quarter inches wide so it just can't fit in there with all the junk that I got in there so that's not gonna work out at all but I'm gonna get this edited and then I'll get this garbage uploaded if you're sticking around all this way I'd really appreciate it and um, I hope y'all have a blessed day and hopefully you learn something along for this ride
have a tire inflator, don't be an idiot, and uh, maybe get a cameraman, woman, person, doesn't really matter, um, somebody who can operate the video device while you try to operate everything else definitely would make things easier or tripod tripod would be pretty cool maybe i'm getting one for christmas i've i've heard tell that i might be getting one for christmas that'd be pretty cool either way i'll talk to y'all later i'll see you in the next one and hopefully you enjoyed and uh have a good day